Hi everybody, it is Monday the 24th of April. Um, what a, a, a kind of a, a, a funny weekend doing this uh, um, private with Lyle. It was, it was pretty cool, um, but uh, apparently it's, uh, it was for the guy who invented Roku and has a whole bunch of other patents and stuff. And I guess every year now, we, this was the fifth year, he has a party for his friends. Uh, in his yard. Uh, it's the first year they had Willie Nelson and then George Strait the next year. Last year they had ZZ Top and this year they had Lyle. So pretty pretty cool. But we had fun. It was re really well done and uh, all the travels went smooth so I, I can't complain too much. And uh, started off though at the uh, Florida Film Festival with Danny Tedesco and I. and had a great time there. And now the uh, week gets started here. I'm going to head over to Blues, uh, who I did the book with, and we have some stuff to sort out. And then I'm going to swing by the doctor. Man, I am still completely, I don't know what the hell happened, but this infection or whatever's going on is just, like, really painful through here. I'm really swollen through here. Um, so I'm going to try and make an appointment with the doctor to go in and find out what the hell's going on with this. Otherwise, Other than that, I feel fine, but it's just really, really painful. Um, uh, so got that, and then I'm going to run over to Norm's Rare Guitars tomorrow, and we're going to make a little video, because I'm going to do a book signing at his store on May 6th out in Tarzana. So we're going to make a little vi promo video uh, tomorrow uh, for that. And uh, just, and then I got a session on Wednesday with Waddy and Russ and Jim Cox and Peter Asher producing it. And uh, so we'll see what that's all about when we get there. I don't know what the, uh, the pro who the project is, but that should be fun to see the, the guys. Um, so today I'm going to go back and just grab one more tune off of a, 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 an album that I talked about a, quite some time back. And uh, it's with an, a wonderful, wonderful, I've worked with him uh, several times, a uh, wonderful Italian artist named um, Eros Ramazzati. And this was an album we did back in 2005 called Calma Apparente. Apparente. I guess it, that's Apparente. Um, there's several of, of us were on this. We were trading off some, some uh, uh, different uh, base seats on this stuff. Some great people on here like Tony Franklin and Neil Steubenhaus and stuff. Uh, and I did uh, three of the tracks on this, and I talked about it earlier, but I'm going to do one more thing from this, um, and it's called uh, L'Ultimo Metro, and uh, it's myself and Vinny Caliuta, uh, Mike Landau on guitar, uh, Celso Valli on keyboards, um, Paul Brainerd on pedal steel, uh, Celso Valli and Claudio Gadetti, uh, Gadetti on, on piano and uh, Claudio Gaudetti, um, acoustic guitar and 12 string. Actually, let me pull up one more thing here. I should have prepared better for this, but um, hold on one thing. Here we go. I'm gonna just pull up a little info. Uh, Eros, uh, Eros Walter Luciano Ramazzati uh, was born in 63. He's an Italian pop singer, musician, and songwriter. He's popular in Italy and most European countries and throughout the Spanish-speaking world, as he has released most of his albums in both Italian and Spanish. Since 84, Ramazzotti has released 11 studio albums, one EP, three compilation albums, three live albums, and 37 singles. He's sold over 60 million records in his 30-year career. His repertoire includes duets with such artists as Cher, Tina Turner, Andrea Bocelli, uh, Joe Cocker, Julio Iglesias. I mean, it goes on and on. Luciano Pavrati, Laura Pussini, and Ricky Martin. Uh, he first gained uh, international success in 93 with the release of Tutte Story, which amassed 5 million album sales and occupied the top five in every country where uh, he had previous, previously released albums. This success led to a BMG international record contract. His audience appeal comes from several factors, including his unique voice, which can uh, be described as somewhat nasal, but nevertheless forceful and resonant baritone, his energetic uh, delivery of catchy melodic tunes, which are often passionate mid-tempo autobiographical ballads with instrumentation that is rich in soft rock influence. Um, then talks a whole bunch about him. Let's see what we got here. 
Um, hold on. It's a lot of... And that's got his section here. His, uh, uh, Ramazzotti is very private about his personal life, keeping a small circle of friends. Ramazzotti had a poor childhood and recalls growing up. As a child growing up, there were no books in my parents' home, no suggestions were ever made of how to even have a decent conversation, no guidance to, was provided in search for oneself. The only source of information that I could get from my father was the inappropriate photos of women. <laughs> the first thing as support that I received from my father was a guitar after he recognized my passion for music. Nowadays, I try to self-educate myself by purchasing good books, which I almost never read because I become lazy after glancing at a football game on TV. <laughs> it just goes on and on. Um, it sounds like he's had a few marriages and different stuff, but uh, you can look that up But on uh, Wikipedia on here. But uh, let me go ahead and play this track. It's really a cool track. So this is Eros Ramazzati, and this is Calma Aparente is the name of the album, and uh, L'Ultimo Metro is the name of this track. So we are off and running. Arrivo l'ultimo metro, c'era lui seduto lì, nei suoi occhi precipitò. Tutto il resto sparì, ed in quell'attimo a lui sembrò che la fatalità passasse di là, con la velocità quel treno che attraversa la città lui la vide e pensò che fosse un angelo sceso giù fino a quell'ultimo metro per volare con lui più in su fotogrammi di un film dove correva la fantasia e con le immagino di andarsene via poi la mente fermò, ma una voce dentro gli parlò. Che sei in una 
Eros Ramazati. And L'Ultimo Metro is the name of that track. Um, I am going, I've got a pile of uh, books to ship out now, too. I forgot, just forgot to look down. I got all these, I've got to fill out some orders here. So I'm going to run and take care of that. Um, this coming Thursday um, is our, our um, uh, Clubhouse live stream. And uh, so I'm looking forward to that. It's normally on the Wednesdays, but I'm going to be with Peter Asher and the Gang of Maniacs all day into the evening. So I couldn't do it. So I'm glad so many people wrote back and said, no problem. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. And then this coming Saturday, for those that sign up for that, is the one-on-one -on -one Skypes and FaceTimes. So I'm looking forward to that, too. I always enjoy that day. And uh, just because it's like this, I really get to see people's faces and I've gotten to know so many so well so it's really great so I'm going to wish everybody a wonderful week this is you know short and sweet here on this one I thought I'd just finish off Eros so I was thinking maybe I'll look at Michelle Polner F tomorrow or I found another album I did with Susie Bogus, so I might go back and visit that one uh, again and it's just I keep finding stuff it's really amazing it blows my mind sometimes so take good care I will see you all tomorrow and uh, I will uh, you know, look forward to Thursday and Saturday. So um, take good care. That's all, uh, all I can say. You know, just it's, the world's getting so crazy out there. Um, just stay safe. And, uh, and just as uh, Stephen still said, love the one you're with. Okay? Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.